Right, so I'll be showing you how to turn on remote lock on your Samsung Galaxy S25 or S25 Ultra. So go to settings. Under settings, scroll down to security and privacy. Tap on that. And then go to lost device protection. Tap on that. And then tap on theft protection. And then go to remote lock and tap on that. Now this is the remote lock option and to enable it, you need to turn this function on. Now, before you do this, you must have set up a lock screen on your phone. And the way this works is if you lost your phone or if someone snatches your phone or you forget it somewhere or uh, basically just gets stolen from you, you can actually lock the screen, okay? So when someone takes your phone or when you leave it somewhere and it's not locked yet, maybe it has a long screen timeout period, they can actually go and access the data on your phone. So what you can do before you even start looking for it is to lock it and you can lock it using the remote lock feature. So since it's enabled, you can go to any computer or any other phone, maybe even a friend's phone and quickly go to a browser and go to this URL. So it's going to show you the URL. It's right there on that setting page. So you want to go to this URL, android.com slash lock okay so this is what that page is going to look like you go to android.com slash lock it's going to open for you this page choose your country code and choose a phone number of any of the sim cards inside the lost or stolen phone so once you put in the phone number it's going and tap on lock it's going to remotely lock the screen of your phone so have a look at this so i put in the phone number and the country code as soon as i tap on lock device You'll notice this phone is going to get locked. So it says uh, something went wrong, too many requests, try again later. And I understand because I was testing it be before this video and it did work. So basically that's how you do it. Let me try again. It's going to try again. I don't know if it will work. Lock device. Yeah, it's going to refuse. It's telling me there have been too many requests because I've been testing it, but it does work. It actually goes ahead and just immediately locks the screen of your phone and so if someone finds it or if someone has stolen it they'll not gain access to your sensitive or crucial data on the phone so from there then you can now start tracking it you can start going to uh, back to the place where you forgot it and try to find it thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any comments or questions talk to us in the comment section good luck